Hey, it's Jason and Jason here with the Cellular Edge. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Total Commander for your iPhone, so you can put apps, programs, ROMs, and other assorted media into it. So basically to start off, you can go to Google or any search engine. Uh, we use Google, but type in Total Commander. Once you type in Total Commander, your first option there should be the one that you're looking for. You'll click on Download. It'll bring you to this page here. Now all these are different sites that host the uh, Total Commander download so you could click on any one of these and it'll tell you about the program and give you an option to download it. So once you've downloaded it, we'll pull it up. I have it right here. This is what it'll look like. Yeah, you're going to have to actually put a program called T-Top first where I'll show you where to get it. The directions on installing it's pretty easy. Um, right here we're showing you right here where to download it at. Uh, put that in, follow word for word, take your time. Once this is in, uh, you'll be able to use Total Commander for the iPhone. The best thing to do is just to Google Teapot installation. And I believe it's the first one also when you, yeah, if you put Teapot installation, it'll be your, your first search there. So once you've done all that, then you can run Total Commander. The thing about Total Commander, it's a split screen. Uh, it doesn't do like normal file system. One side will be your computer and the other side will be the uh, iPhone. You'll notice when you start it up, it'll tell you something about this is a demo. You only have one month to use it. Um, basically ignore all that. Just notice right here where it says, please press button number two to start the program. Each time you start this up, it'll ask you to uh, press one of the different buttons there. So just press whichever one it tells you to. And if you don't, it'll crash your computer. Yeah, so real important. Now, um, like Jason was saying, on the left side here is your desktop. So this, this is your computer here. And on the right side is your iPhone. So of course, you're going to need to have this plugged in uh, via USB in order for this to work. But to get to your iPhone, if you go to the drop down up here, you have to find the little dash and dash. Hit that. It'll show Teapot, which is the program you put on early. You click that. That's actually your iPhone right there. So to get to get to the uh, good stuff of the iPhone, you're going to want to find the folder that says private. You'll double click on that. Then you're going to double click on var. Then you're going to double click mobile. And then media. So if you have Sycorder downloaded on your iPhone, when you take videos, this is how you're going to get them off of your iPhone. You'll click on videos. And basically, these are videos that I've taken through Sycorder. This is the you can't take videos off of Sycorder through iTunes. This is the only way. Why don't you show them how? Because you're not going to. So basically, here's the video right here. You can't actually click and drop it onto your desktop. You have to click it to the left side, which is your computer. So right now we're on my desktop. Actually. Yeah, there we go. Desktop. And then you just click the file and bring it over and drop it. This is also important too when you're doing uh, ROM. So if you, through Cydia, if you did the uh, NES emulator, you're going to need to create a folder inside of the media folder here and name it ROMs. It's got to be capital R-O-M, lowercase s. And to create a new folder, if you hit F7 or down here, just click New Folder and just name it there. Now, sometimes if you download a ROMs from Cydia, that folder will be there in already. Oh, be there already, excuse me. So if you double click it, it'll tell you like the NES one's in there. So if you need to do a Genesis or a PlayStation one, you'll have to put the actual name of the uh, Genesis as well. So then once you do that, this is how you're going to get the ROMs onto there if you didn't download them through Cydia. Basically, you're going to go Google NES ROMs on, um, on the computer and, and you're going to find a website that hosts them. So once you find those and you have them on your computer, you're going to find them on the, your computer here, which I have mine under NES ROMs, of course. And And sorry, <laughs> and then you just click uh, click on it. So right here, I got Ninja Gaiden, and you just 
drag it over and drop it into your iPhone side. So now when you start up your iPhone, uh, you'll have Ninja Gate in, inside of your emulator. So that's uh, pretty much it. You can find other things in there too, like under recordings. Uh, if you have the 3.0 firmware, you have that new program where you can, I think it's called uh, voice memos or something like that. Uh, any voice memos you do, you can actually do the same thing. This is a voice recording that I did. If I wanted to save that for later, I could actually drop it into my computer by just bringing it over. Now the good thing about Total Commander is you don't need Wi-Fi, whereas OpenSSH, you may have read about or did some research on, you need a Wi-Fi connection to connect it to your iPhone. So if you're out and about on your computer and you don't have any internet, Total Commander is definitely the way you want to go. And and nice thing about it too, there's no uh, passwords. Uh, like I think it's Win SC SCP or whatever it's called. There's a couple other programs out there, but you actually have to put in a username and password, and you have to put in your IP address. This one, you just open the program and, and go with it. But uh, that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you're going to get into your iPhone uh, via Total Commander. Um, anything else you could think of? No, nope, just uh, thanks for watching our video. Make sure you, uh, if you have any questions, to, to hit us up, and that's about it. Thanks. All right, and um, be sure to check out our YouTube website for more tutorials in the future.